Hello, everyone. I uh, just wanted to share with you a presentation I gave last week. And so last week I was um, speaking at a networking event virtually and shared this presentation with them to give them a high level overview of who we are as an organization um, and what we do and, and how we uh, how we do those things. And so a people partner, as you can see, has three arms of its business, human resources, recruiting and job seeker support. The background here is a rainbow. Um, we use a rainbow of colors on our website. We we believe in being very colorful. Um, and our six values include um, diversity, equality, <clears throat> um, diversity, equality, inclusion, empathy, teamwork, and transparency. And so with those uh, values in mind, right, I, I selected, you know, my website is built with those things in mind. This presentation is built with those things in mind as well. <laughs> Um, and so on this next slide, right, so um, I went to this and, and I sort of said, did your desk look like this with 100 sticky notes on it um, of things that you needed to get done, things that, uh, you know, you needed to work on, reminders for yourself? And I said, mine did. I had reminders on my desk when I was working in corporate HR that sat for months, three months, six months, one month, two months however long, because they were things that I, tasks and projects that I couldn't get done because I didn't have enough time to do them. And so that is one of the reasons why you would choose a people partner for your HR needs. And that's why this question is here. So those of you working in HR know that this is not an exhaustive list of all the HR tasks that we might have to do on a, on a regular basis. But it is, you know, some of the responsibilities that HR is tasked with. Um, and each one of these has a subset of tasks. And there's, you know, there's multiple layers that come with this, right? So recruiting and hiring isn't just like a checkbox. There's so many layers that come with recruiting and hiring. Um, same thing with wellness, with benefits, with talent management, performance management, right? All of these things come with a multi-step um, they're multi-step layers. And so this was just a list I gave them of, you know, the potential things that somebody in HR is going to see. And so when you look at all of this, if you have a small HR department, maybe of one or of two, right, how do you expect somebody to get all of this done and be an effective um, representative for your employees? It's just really hard to, to be able to get everything on this list accomplished without some additional support. And so how do we help, right? We take on companies, HR projects, and we let them focus on culture, people, and strategy. Sure, we can help with culture, people, and strategy, but we want them to lead those initiatives for their organization. We want them to be the face of those, those three pillars for their organization, because ultimately, right, the, the employees are going to look to them um, when it comes to those three areas. And I said, does hiring talent feel like this painting in the background? For me, it does. And what do I mean by that? Right. I don't see this painting as chaotic. I don't see this as, um, you know, uh, random smattering of colors. Right. Painting is very abstract you know it's art can be abstract at times and so for me right the colors chosen here the way that things were painted it it represents that there was there was some decision making right many people had to come together to create this project you know there might have been different thoughts coming together different wavelengths um and then you know bringing those things together in a way that made sense and and choosing colors that that felt right to them right and so there are decisions that were made as part of this. And I think that this was, this painting does reflect higher in talent, but in a positive way. And so if you feel like this painting represents your hiring needs in more of a negative way, or it doesn't resonate with you, um, because it's not cookie cutter and crisp, right? Then, we can help you. A people partner can help you with your hiring needs. And so why choose us? Well, um, 
here's just one list of things that a, that needs to be done for recruitment. So as I said, you know, there are multi layers in all those HR tasks and projects. And so when you have something like this, that also is the layers of recruitment, then if we add that to that other list we're making for HR, it really becomes super challenging to get everything done when you're adding this list to that other list. And so these are some examples of job posting that I found to demonstrate how I can help an organization. And one of the ways is through helping them understand how their job postings are impacting their ability to hire talent. And so in this particular case, um, Boston Medical Center had a role open that was listed as entry level from what you can see here, right? But over here on the right hand side, it had they require a bachelor's degree um, and three to five years of experience, as well as one to two years of professional work experience within specific categories. This is not an entry level job posting. Three to five years of experience plus another one to two plus a four year degree doesn't equal entry level. And so the way in which they're doing themselves a disservice, mm -hmm. right, is um, it, this could be negatively impacting their reputation for people that are entry level candidates coming to their roles who don't who don't qualify for these things. Um, but it also it means that their job posting is not getting to the right people who need to see it because maybe they're filtering out that entry level category. And in most cases, an executive admin assistant is not going to be an entry level role. So with all that being said, these are some things that I can help, you know, counsel and, and coach and, and work through with an, a prospective a client. The next one is a member relations manager for Allegheny Conference Center on Community Development. Again, it lists here as an entry level position. When we look over here to the right, it says education, bachelor's degree in marketing communications, corporate or public relations is required. And then a minimum of three to five years of professional experience experience with the CRM is required. And then it also says that you have to have experience with C-suite level executives. This is not an entry level job posting, right? Because it requires all of those things. Entry level should require zero to, zero to one years of experience at a minimum, okay? Um, and this next example with a company called We from um, Fremont, California, for a content marketing specialist is a better representation of this. So this is an entry level job posting. Um, there is something I can help them fix here and I'll call that out, but they put their job requirements as a job entails working with and requires marketing, media design, or related field with one year of experience including, right? And then they also put down here, employer will accept any suitable combination of education, training, or experience, which, should mean that they'll expect they will um, accept education for these things as a way of experience which is more genuine to entry level one way in which i could help this company with their job posting is that they have the job requirements listed twice which makes one their job posting longer it's also a little bit frustrating right for a job seeker um, and so i could work with them to go through all their job postings and see how many times does this occur how can we remove this? How can we make this more effective? But ultimately, they did the best with their interlevel job posting out of the three examples. And so how do we help companies with their recruitment efforts? Well, we handle all of the talent sourcing. We coordinate the interviews. We work directly with the hiring managers. And we customize everything to your organization, your needs, and your process. We also offer job seeker support. We do that through helping with resumes, interviewing, career coaching, social media support, negotiating compensation, finding employment, and upskilling. Who is our ideal client? That varies. So we don't specify in a particular industry or specific uh, geographic location, right? It's really companies with zero to four HR employees, companies who are hiring talent or struggling to hire talent, and job seekers who need support with their job search process in any way. Here's how you can contact us by phone, by email, or visit us on LinkedIn. Um, you can also visit our website, apeoplepartnerllc.com, that has all of our contact information all of the time. 
Thank you for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed our presentation. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye.